So here's the latest update on my little 125 MV Augusta. Um, she's not been running as well as I would have liked, and we've cleaned, done everything with the carbs, but I've now noticed that the ignition timing is not as far advanced as it should have been. So I've strobed her up, and I've noticed that um, she's well, um, well inside what should be the, the proper timing for, for this particular engine. So what I need to do is I need to obviously reset the uh, magneto position, um, and to do that, I need to get around the other side of the bike. The magneto here is driven from a gear inside this device here, which is all part of the, the whole gear chain which drives the overhead cam. So it comes off the crankshaft, there's a, an idler gear in here, and then it operates the pump as well. So sadly, I've got to take off the whole oil pump um, system to be able to get into the wheel that is on the, the back of the, the magneto here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is obviously pull the oil pump system apart. And the oil pump itself is a two-stage thing, so it's got a, a scavenger line which drains from the bottom of the engine, pumps all the, the oil from the bottom of the engine back through here, up and back up into the top of the tank, and then the tank itself then feeds through this line here into the back of it, which then feeds this pipe here, which goes into the engine here and up to the top of there. So what I'll do is once I put it all back together again, I'll obviously make sure that I've got oil coming through here to make sure the pump is probably working and also making sure that I've got an oil return to the tank here. Okay, disassembly to begin. So just a quick check of top dead centre. I've got a couple of marks on the, on the casing and on the flywheel here. Um, I put them on before but just a, a simple check to make sure they're still alright there. As you can see the piston on top of that and hopefully you'll be able to see That's about top dead centre there. You can see the black line is right. The white line is slightly off. But it's about right. So the next check I need to make is to make sure that I know which way the engine runs. So what I'll do is I'll pull the wheel forward and see which way this one rotates. And it goes that way. So it rotates in the same direction as the uh, the drive the driven wheel. I also want to then check to see whether I'm on the compression stroke or the intake stroke So all we do is just stick my finger over the top of that um, And as I turn the wheel, I would expect to feel compression just so it comes up to top dead center and that way I know it's the right top dead center So with my little famous timing disc, I've got that set on the top dead center and therefore I've then marked this on there which is at 53 degrees so I've now got a mark which is 53 degrees before top dead center because I know this is running this way so that is when I need that to open so I just need to go around and mess about on the other side and get the gear sorted so that it'll work get myself a little bit of a cigarette paper stick it in between there and we'll sort out the timing okay let's see how it works so that's as well before top dead center, piece of paper sticky. Move it about there. Still between there. So there. And just when it comes past that bit there, it should then open. Oh. 